Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Move Podcast, covering the Tour de France Femme of Ex Zwift. Well done. We're talking about stage two. Mel, where, what, what did we do today? Stage two. From Meaux to Provins. <laughs> From Meaux to Provins. <laughs> and before we get into it, uh, uh, it was just full disclosure and disclaimer. Last night was a very rough night. Okay. We had our C's, you know, and when the men's race finished, we, we do this every year. Mel and Anna make this. A uh, big paella thing. The paella is the size of Texas, mm-hmm. and it was a complete shit show. And there were people there that, that, that weren't even part of this podcast. I mean, how many people were there? Two hundred people, it seemed like. Definitely a lot of people. And we were <laughs> nicked up. I was in really rough shape. We have some videos that we may or may not share. Allie, yeah, I had seemed, a great seemed, time. Seemed to be rallying mm-hmm. and left. She just did the Irish exit. <laughs> And Mari, on the other hand, was in full form. Oh, and I, I asked my daughter, Grace, I said, Grace, I think you should take Mari home. It worked. She got me home. <laughs> I got to try the famous Lanceritas, yes, which yes. you made. And I actually served one to JB that I forgot to put the tequila in or the sparkling. You just gave him, you just gave him straight lines. Oh, no. Today's show brought to you by Ventum, as it is each and every day. My road bike, my NS1, I absolutely love it. My gravel bike, which we're going to ride the gravel bikes today, mm-hmm. right? I'm, oh yeah, I'm you need to gravel. sweat out something. I'm going to show up on the gravel. My GS1, it's 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 my favorite bike actually in my in the arsenal. Uh, special offer for our listeners: if you head on over to ventumracing.com slash the move, you get 10 percent off. If the bike doesn't get there within three weeks, you get another 10 percent off. And if you want to tag uh, us in a post, tell us what's special about your ride for the day. Uh, we'll, we'll, those are called the hashtag Ventum Rider of the day. That's at, but you got to tag at Ventum Racing and at We Do Dot Team. Um, Hey, Mariana Boss. Should we just rename her? No, Voss is Boss. I've been boss telling this boss. for years. This is, I mean, and, and if this, if my stats are correct, her 200, listen to this, 241st pro victory. Well, let me, let me. I, I, I mean, that's insanity. I stole this from Daniel Lloyd, our friends. We like yep. GCN, right? Yep. We um, do. Uh, so Orla needs to send Ugh, me clothes and stats because I don't want to dress like Let's Daniel. Do, can we do a whole episode talking about Orla? Well, I'm <laughs> obsessed. Like, I have a girl crush. So out of Yumbo Visma, though, they have 29 pro tour riders on their right. team. Right. A cumulative, all the male pros on the men's team has 268 wins. Wow. Voss? Just Voss. Like, not Yumbo Vismo, just Voss, 241 right. professional right. wins. Yeah. Talk about being the boss. The total boss. I'm going to cry again. I got the chills. I've raced <laughs> against this woman, raced with her, <laughs> spent a lot of time in her family camper with her cat and her family and her brother. And I was, and I don't know if it was when, when I was watching the coverage, believe it or not, I actually watched the coverage. Oh, that's okay. shocking because I've think, been here forever and you just woke I up. Understand, <laughs> but I got up in time to watch the finale. Um, and again, it just, it, 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 that's not going to happen again. Mm-hmm. Last night was a rough night, but anyways, they were saying on the coverage that she is actually the one that went to ASO and, and, and met with, with the, she was meeting a, with them for executive sure. team she and was, said, listen, it is time that we, that we re, you know, restart. Cause you know, there's been different variations of this. She, she's the one, the boss who said, yeah. yo, we need a women's tour. She definitely was the voice behind getting it all started right. for this event. Yeah, That's for so sure. Cool. It's amazing. And you were crying when I, she did put the jersey on. Today. I like just this woman. <laughs> like I, I mean, I, I struggle with it. She's beat me several times. She's helped me a lot. The, her family has welcomed me into their camper because her mm. family follows her around in a camper and they used to have a cat and I would go and hang out with them. But to see, I think one of the best cyclists women cycling has ever seen Dawn her first, oh my goodness, chills crying again. The first yellow jersey. Wow. I am like, I wanted everyone to win, of course, but to see this most decorated cyclist that never got to race a true Tour de France mm. bomb put on that yellow jersey, fucking feelings flying. And I'm sorry, <laughs> mom, I'm swearing. <laughs> wow. Hey, we're, we're a little bit of business right quick. Today's show also brought to you by Roka. We're seeing a lot of Roka in this Peloton. SD Works, obviously rocking the Roka glasses. Rob and his whole crew down in Austin, just, uh, I think they're building the best sunnies out there. And also the prescription side. I have an update. I have not, lo- even after last night's party, I did not lose my reading glasses. It's impressive. That, thank you so much, Maureen. <laughs> we thought you needed your sunglasses on. Oh, I needed, a, I needed a helmet on. We need a helmet sponsor. I needed a helmet last night. And so did Mark for, for, for that matter. Um, super lightweight, no slip, uh, the best optics out there. Uh, head on over to Roka, that's R-O-K-A dot com. 20% off if you use the code THEMOVE. Also today, and we see, uh, again, in this Peloton, see a lot of... 
Oh, what, what's going on? Well, Ian is texting me from Trek Segafredo, so okay. I'm just double checking. Okay. I, I used to get in trouble. JB would give me shit for looking at my phone during the show. <laughs> After like two, two weeks, he's like, dude, stop looking at your phone during the show. Well, when like, Chuck Segafredo's director is I understand. texting No, that's what we're going to have. We're, we yeah. special yeah. guests, potentially. Also brought to you by Wahoo. What a suite of products. They've got, uh, obviously, the kicker bike, which a lot of us um, uh, use for indoor training. With Love Zwift. my kicker bike. Uh, yeah, exactly. Gets you through the winter, keeps you sane. And I was like, thank God. Uh, my rival sports watch, the Bolt GPS bike computer, and now the Speedplay pedals, which I've been rocking for over a decade. Uh, special offer, and this is an update. Um, they're celebrating another great tour with 48 out. This is just a 48 hour flash sale. So today and tomorrow head on over to wahoofitness.com. That's just for 48 hours. Uh, so this also includes the entire speed play range, including the power link and the computers and everything ends July 26. That's wahoofitness.com. Um, but, but back to the race. Oh, holy T -t total. I mean, just pandemonium. <laughs> yeah. Pandemonium from the gun crashes. When? Yeah. I mean, the start of the race, absolutely ballistic. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm up in the morning earlier than you, I think. Correct. Yep. Blaze is still sleeping, not in his Helix mattress yet, but you know, he'll get there. <laughs> but, um, I'm up in the morning watching and it's like kilometer one. And there's echelons and wind. Ugh. And it was like a classics rider's dream and GC contender's nightmare. It was a full-blown mother effing race. Wow. It, does this, do, do, just uh, playing layman here, does this, um, does, is, it, was the GC affected here? At the, at, yes. Yeah. Sorry, you, I mean, first it did at the end because, um, but when, when no, we get, to the, when we get yeah. to the end oh. of the, I mean, is, is, were there GC contenders here that, potentially lost the tour today. Potentially they did. We had Alona Animalusic, which is a Belarusian rider, former mm. teammate of mine when I was on Astana B Pink. And she's off the back. We have C uh, Celine, um, who races for Planter, a uh, cyclocross world champion off the back. Like just riders that might not have been prepared for the small roads and high winds. Mm. And you're watching the start and there's still 80K to go. And you've got Voss on the front and you got Ellen Van Dyke on the front and just e like echelons and chaos and you have a long way to go. Oof. Luckily, before all the other chaos we can talk about, which is crashes and mayhem, um, they caught back on, but they were, like we were losing GC contenders and really big hopeful mm. riders mm. immediately. It was, I'm like texting Mari going, yeah. WTF, watch the film, but like <laughs> WTF is what is happening. Like right. seriously, right. we I mean, thought this was just, a sprinter yeah. stage yeah. and suddenly I will look and it it's totally full played gas. out differently than like what we were expecting for sure. I mean, we thought it was going to be another sprint stage, but then right. when you saw the wind and you saw the narrow roads, I mean, everything changed and, yeah. and that was, it made it super exciting and things just kept mixing up the whole entire time. I mean, it's good. It makes for good watching. Oh, it was awesome. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you hate to see crashes and, yeah. and you hate to see people's race ended because of crashes, but it makes it exciting. It makes it super exciting. And it's like good, hard racing and shows what women can do. I feel like out there, I mean, it, they put on a great show. And they were not trying to put on a show. They were no, just they motherfucking were just racing. Surviving. Surviving. Trying to survive. Yeah. yeah it's yeah, all it's about survival. survival. Yeah. Like when the winds come, mm -hmm. you just, you just got to find the wheel, find the draft. And, sorry yeah. just Blaze and mom for swearing. <laughs> Uh, yes, I get really is, excited. You're not supposed to say bad words on this show. <laughs> I've been awake for so long and I've been so excited. Oh, yeah, because you left the party early. <laughs> but you made me such good margaritas, Lanceritas. You did great. <laughs> hey, another cool note Pogachar, uh, as we saw him uh, during the tour, he saw his girlfriend there supporting him. Mm -hmm. She's in the race. Oh, yeah, she yep. races for Bike Exchange. So we're looking. I didn't know that. Oh. And he's following he's her He's going to follow the race. Now, this That's is, awesome. how cute is this? I mean, <laughs> no, she was at, I, I like this kid. Oh, no, this he's kid's great. adorable. Him and his little tufts. She cuts his hair. So I think she probably like cuts she it. She does? Yeah. But she oh. missed the haircut because we thought we had, he had extra tufts in the tour. <gasps> right. And she, and she actually wrote the cycling journalist and said, well, I'm sorry, I didn't cut his hair before. And <laughs> he has a little more tufts than normal. <laughs> And um, he's going to follow her during most of the tour. That's amazing. Um, and her name is Erska Zekart. Uh, she's Slovenian. Uh, she's a, a national time trial champion for Slovenia. Oh, wow. And she races for Bike Exchange. And she's podiumed at the road race uh, national championships there as well. And they Damn. met on a training camp. And they're engaged. Should we... 
What it's adorable. Story. It is cute, super cute. Colton, almost as cute, cute as that Beatle. romantic music. <laughs> what was it's that? almost as cute as me and Blaze. While we're telling this story. <laughs> yes. See? Aww. We should have. And we, maybe we'll overlay this when you're. Di- this was such a love story. It, it's such a love story. And he's so supportive. Like, he gets second at the Tour de France. Does he go and party and, like, put his legs up? No. He goes well, he to might the start be, he, of her race. He might be partying. But. I would party and watch her race. Speaking, race. Speaking of, you mentioned time trial. Mari, are you, because you, that's, that, that was your, mm-hmm. that was your jam. That was my jam. How, how is there not, and this is just a question again, being the, the dumb guy on the set here, but, um, is, which is easy to do. Uh, why is there not a time trial? You know, I was wondering the same thing. Yeah. I would think that there would be, because there typically is in the longer stage races for women. Mm-hmm. So I was surprised when I saw that there wasn't one, and right. it would have made things pretty interesting to have one in there, I think. Maybe yeah. next year they'll or add Or even it. a prologue. I mean, yeah, something. Something. Just something to set it up, yeah. Yeah, the Giro Don yeah. had a prologue, which is where we mm-hmm. were talking about yesterday that Kristen Faulkner And Kristen Faulkner, Faulkner won it. Won, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then to correct what we were talking about yesterday, she had that time gap, which now she has a time gap again today, but yesterday she did not crash she had a mechanical and it was within the 3k so she did end up getting uh same time which i got corrected on our channel for that but, oh yeah so, which is but that's today, a little, she, is today that, she did yeah. yeah right i mean typically you would only get same time if you were caught up in a crash but maybe she was caught behind a crash which caused the mechanical yeah i don't know somebody yeah. just wrote us and said we were wrong so i was like cool we're always wrong though right <laughs> <laughs> but we always move forward we, but we're <laughs> often wrong but we love to be corrected and that, that, that will not change for the next week. I don't like to be corrected that yeah. much. Today's show also brought to you by Athletic Greens. Take control of your health. Dear Lance, take control of your health after last night. I, I need a triple Athletic Greens today. This stuff, it, it actually has been a game changer for me. Uh, over 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. Start your day off just right for less than three bucks a day. Let's make it easy. Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs, which come in this little box right here. Uh, With your first purchase, all you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash the move. Are you on the Athletic Greens train? Well, you haven't given me any. Okay, we'll give you some. Mari? I have had it. It's very good. Yeah, it is. I need some, too. It's a a game changer. (laughs) Yeah, I don't don't understand. Um... And and it also, tastes good. I, also I mean, saw, it actually tastes good. No, it does. It's, yeah. it's you know, when you think about all these, <laughs> we're talking about it. <laughs> <clears throat> when you think about all this stuff that's in there, you're like, oh, that's got to be terrible. <laughs> but it doesn't. It, it, it's, it's, it's it tastes pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. You know, there's no reason not to. I'm talking to myself. That's uh, great. Will anything else stand <laughs> out today? I know we got some, a bunch I of, have, this was really cool. We got a bunch of questions from uh, I listeners have and viewers s- yesterday. so much to talk about, but. Keep going. Oh, okay. Well, I think one of the things is that Marta Cavalli didn't finish, and she was going to... That, that's a big news, it, right? I mean, that's if, a big If anybody's yeah, going to challenge Van Bluten. She was going to be one of right. them for sure. Right. And so, uh, yeah, so having her crash and be out, it was really sad to see when she got tried to get back on her bike and just couldn't couldn't make it. Yeah, Mari and I were here watching it on her on iPad. On my iPad. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Stacy was here with us. Um, but we were on the iPad uh, watching it, and... <laughs> No. Watching though, okay, so it was it was a <laughs> horrific crash. So you have just bikes flying. We have two riders in the ditch. The mechanic fly, like flies in the ditch. The Aussie national Jesus. champion just like I'm, I'm, ricochets I'm, over. I'm, you I'm missed bu- that I'm bu- crash. I'm bummed. I was asleep. We need to. You need to see it because I mean that girl came flying in and then she hit it and just went. She was right over the back top of it and then just goes <laughs> over like Cavelli and it's the most horrific crash. And um, sorry, we have Stacy here, so I'm just keep looking because she was here with right. me. You weren't. Normally we shut that so you don't see people out there. <laughs> <laughs> but I had um, like I had see? tears. There you go. Oh, it got shut. Okay. You're easily distracted, Alice. <laughs> so we were besides me kicking you, yeah, underneath the table and ruining my mic. Um, we were at where Marta Cavelli crashed, and then just gets launched by Australian national champion. Everyone's in the ditches. It is not in the douches. Not good. No, it is in the ditches. They were in the ditches. And there were the bikes ditches. just going down in ditches and people flying. You know how it is, though. You're a GC contender. She just finished second at the Girodon. Mm. So Jared Talia, right? Yep. She just finished second to Anamik Van Bluten. And the caravan's coming through, and she's not getting out of the saddle. She's not jumping in the caravan. She's holding her glasses and her... Oh, chills, and I'm going to cry again. But she... She, I don't know what was wrong, and I haven't seen the medical reports yet, 
but she's not jumping on to get in the caravan to catch. Well, and you could just see in her face. I mean, she was she crying. Was I devastated I'm gonna that start she crying. wasn't going to finish. Yeah. Yeah. It was sad. Ugh. So she made it to the finish line. So they did a little circuit at the finish line and she basically pulled out when she hit the finish line the first time. But this was somebody I was really looking forward to uh, competing with Annemiek Van Bluten, right. who's our, our favorite, right? For the overall. Overwhelming. And um, the sadness and pain, uh, it was just a reminder of how beautiful and painful cycling oh, that's is. Brutal. Yeah. yeah. No matter what the race is. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So else? then, so then, oh, oh, do, so yes, then, do tell, get ready. <laughs> I, uh, sorry, guys, I already You're told like Lance. You're like the Ginsu knife, like we tell Johan, but wait, <laughs> there's more. <laughs> no, it's okay. I've taken over this podcast today because Lance needs to put his sunglasses on. Insert sponsor here. Um, <laughs> so then we're coming in, and there's just chaos. There are like, sig- like they are like Mari, right? There was three significant crashes within All five within, kilometers. Yeah, it was within a very short period of time. Yeah. I mean, there was just crash after crash and people chasing on and it was like chaos. We were trying to figure out who's in the front group, who's in the chasing group. I mean, there were so many different things going on at that point. Yeah. I had a lot of swear words. Um, we were definitely blowing up our phones, trying to figure out what was going on. So what happens is though we go into the intermediate sprint. So we have what is left of the Peloton, which was still quite large, probably 70 ish riders. And we're going, and you know, people are chasing on from the crashes. It's very difficult to see. And then we're going into the intermediate sprint, which is pretty close to the finish, uh, within 20 K I believe mm-hmm. I should look at us. Yeah. Anyway. So they're coming into the intermediate sprint. And we have our leader, our yellow jersey, mm-hmm. Lorena, yeah. goes for the intermediate sprint, full gas. Wins. 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 Yeah. The intermediate sprint. You know who goes? <laughs> Counters. My favorite rider. The boss? No. Lamborghini, Lamborghini. is what I call oh, her, remember? Oh, the Lamborghini. Yeah. Also, her name is Lisa Longo Bergini. But Blaze personally would like everybody just to start calling her Lamborghini. And I don't know if she knows this yet because I don't think she listens to this it podcast. It was like the perfect move, though, that she did. I mean, it was like classic. They they did the sprint. Lorraine went super hard for it and then sat up and then they went. And it was awesome. Lamborghini was- just freaking counters like yeah. a bat out of hell. Yeah. And you know who goes with her? Oh, her teammate, Elisa Balsamo. Uh-huh. Well, they're like world joined champion. in the world champion. Seriously, they're right. always <laughs> together. It's so awesome. You know yeah. who else goes? The boss. Wow. And that was it. Seeing the douches. <laughs> and Katya. Nia this Doma. is the ride of the day. Well, I have two riders of the day, okay. but Cassia Neodoma, Taylor Finney's uh, partner. You can give them a boomstick. <laughs> they can share the boomstick. Uh, who gets the boomstick, though? I have You got to pick one. Oh. You got to pick the ball. I'm going Lamborghini. Really? Oh, at least a long, Longo Bergini. Who do you? It was impressive. Yeah. I, I would because, say that, because that but made the teammate, race. But her teammate, Balsano, was like working really hard to try and get the time for... Elisa Longo Bargini or Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are forgetting one rider. So I'm, I'm just going to hold the boomstick because this is how excited I was about uh, the race. I'm a little nervous with you having <laughs> Could you no, put it on the other side? She's getting closer to you yeah, too. You, exactly. I'm going to scoot. Uh, no, JB uh, doesn't like it moving, when I scoot. Don't, settle, don't mess up your mic. Allison, settle down. No, like yesterday you were very uh, subdued you told me I was and calm. <laughs> and now today we've got a, 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 she's back. She's on fire. Okay. Oh. No. Okay. I do, though. We need to, Mari, though, remember our rider that was off the front, who was our best young right. rider. So she's wearing the That was live. impressive. Yeah, she did a good and job. And this woman mm-hmm. got uh, six yesterday. Her name is Micah Vander yeah. Duen. And she got six yesterday. In so the, she can sprint. And so yeah. she can sprint. Mm-hmm. By the way, that is her best result in her career. So I looked her up. And she got seventh at Ride London, eighth at, do you still like, I'm still holding this. Yeah. It's, it's really it, it's stressing it's me out. It's kind of cavewoman-ish looking. <laughs> no, I'm going to keep holding it because this is how exciting the race was. But so uh, Micah Van Der Duen, six yesterday, and she's off the front after like when all this chaos and all the crashes are happening. And she's in the best young rider's jersey hmm. already. And I'm thinking she's in the white jersey. She's the best young rider, which means she sprinted. So why is she off the front? And she, um, so now this is the second day in a row. Nicole Wahoo got most aggressive, which is impressive. And I'm going to put this down because it's actually scaring me because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, Because you promised me a Bloody Mary and I didn't get one. Um, So this is the second day running. Nicole Wahoo got the most aggressive. But this young woman in the best young rider's jersey is off the front. So as all the crashes happen, you know who she gets to come in with the break with? Voss the boss, right? Balsamo the world champion, 
And Lamborghini. Lamborghini. <laughs> and and a Neodoma, which I think, though, for a climber and GC contender, you have two GC contenders in that break, and it's Lamborghini Kasha and, yeah. and Kasha Neodoma. So, but Mariana Voss cannot climb like she can. She's won the Giro before, but so she can climb. But can she get up Planche de Belfi and these things with with with? No, I. She's more. It's going to be hard to okay. for her to beat Anamik and Bluten up that. I want. Well, yeah, 30, they need all the time what, on Anamik. Thirty-four seconds today. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she can't. No, save for sure. That. I mean, all those girls. I mean, Katya. It's all great that they got some time today. Right. So. Yeah. Is, she, make it more is she thinking about that with, with, you know, with getting 34 seconds on Van Vluten? Is Hell she yes. starting to I think, think that she's, I think she's thinking about it. She would love to win the, this. If she could. we need well, all yeah. the time on Obviously. Van Vluten all yeah. the time. Like I wanted a minute, like these I like, I want, cause I saw she's that badass. Like she's on, when we on get that steep stuff, on that steep she's thing. just gone. She's just going to ride away. Yeah. We need all the time. Okay. Uh, we, I mean, nothing against her. Just, I was going to say, it's, it almost sounds as if you're cheering, you're, you're, you're rooting against her. <laughs> no, I just want, I want a, like, I want a race. And I, got, I, I no, need, well, I need that's some what time. happens sometimes when you're the best people want to beat you. Right, Lance? Yeah. I beat you today <laughs> to the start of the race here by like two hours. So I'm ahead in the jersey. <laughs> no, you are in the yellow jersey. For I sure. am in the yellow jersey. I'm the Lantern Rouge. <laughs> Full, so full, I had a, full admission. I had a few other just um, quick wrap ups was something that we didn't discuss yesterday. So yeah. is that the the roads were very narrow. Yeah. They were like you French. They're French farm roads and small roads and the flags and were the just the, the flags yeah. were the just whipping. Crazy. I had sideways. people texting me showing me I was showing Mari like the cornfields and you know what they're going through yeah. and they're texting me like the wind was a lot yeah. stronger than we predicted and the roads were tiny. But I makes- think that's what's going to make this race is like these kinds of things where they're taking advantage of every opportunity to get time on Anamik. Like they have to and, you know, not make it easy on her for yeah. the end. Like get the other teams tired, make them work, make other people. Movistar was exhausted by the finish. They right. were losing riders left and right as they were coming into town. And so, yeah, so I think that's what we talked about yesterday is mm-hmm. Anamik is that strong that we were like, ah, does she really need a team? Because it is a really steep finish um, uh, for two final stages, but she likes to take things in her own hands. Um, so I guess we'll go. Doesn't in- need a team? Mm. Well, I mean, we did. Well, her team worked hard today, you right. know? I mean, but on and those so. Stages. No, on she those doesn't stages, need a team, no. I mean, yeah. when it finishes uphill, but, but for these next four stages, yeah, you need a team. And if the team gets more and more tired, you know, the more she has to work. So, I, yeah, I had a few takeaways. If you can get, or do you have to do a sponsor thing? No, I don't I'm know how good. this works. No. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> we're so done working. Besides me now crying, we're just having fun. <laughs> besides me crying a lot today, which everybody. You were emotional. I don't yeah, know. Like, what? you kept crying. And you, you, this you, is the <coughs> swear you, word tour de France Femme of Zwift, you, and I am watching my. Your homies. Com- my homies, yeah. and I am, like, kind of jealous. Play, on TV, you play, like, this sort of tough gravel. Ooh, ah. Uh, and then you hear, like, crying? I am crying because these so are crying women. And bike these racing. are my teammates and this my is like some of these guys. The, the guys at the tour, they're crying. I'm like, what is wrong with them? You, now you're crying. <laughs> I am no. I'm gonna cry now because this is oh. the most powerful. Well, we gotta stop. Okay, yeah. let's talk about Zwift. <laughs> I want to so, see no tears. Let's thank let, let's thank Zwift here. Uh, Zwift is a title sponsor of the Tour yeah. de France Farm. Yeah. Avec Zwift. Um, I love seeing the branding um, along the roadside. They are really believe in this. So we have yeah. a, a, we do segment. We do. Uh, yeah. On the, on the Champs Oh, we do. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on the Champs Elysees. So if you do the Champs Elysees course, there's a little warm up. you do, and then you can do the hot lap, which I believe is 4.1 miles, which I I'm still confused about the 0.1, but whatever. Um, and you go and you can get the, we do swag. And, right. um, and so that's a really great sponsor and they believe in women's cycling, which I think is incredibly valuable. And yep. we really appreciate Zwift. And they were right on it. I mean, when, mm-hmm. when, when, I don't know the chain of events, Mariana Voss sits with ASO, ASO decides to, you know, pull their head out of their ass and, and actually have a women's tour. I mean, Eric man, t- kudos to him and Zwift. Mm-hmm. They, they were immediately there. I, I, it was awesome. Yeah. They definitely stepped right in. Good yeah, see, we, yeah, they definitely did. Um, I think it's Boom amazing. Stick. Um, <laughs> stick. Wait, oh, no. you're scared. <laughs> no, I'm going to put it down. <laughs> no, I'm already scared. So Silvia Prosecco, who finished third today, it was her 25th birthday. She's a, oh, an Italian national champion, yeah. which is super cool. So props to her. Um, and the other uh, takeaways, so I have a, just two more, and then I could probably shut up. Well, I have three probably. But, um, and then we've got some questions. The, the coming in uh, in the breakaway, the breakaway of all breakaways. <laughs> so we have some big misses in there. Uh, SD Works is missing. Right. Uh, we have DSM missing, who has the yellow jersey. Correct. Movie Star, who has 
arguably the best climber in the world on a meek. Bike Exchange just is missing as well. Uh, crashes. FDJ, mm. which is, uh, we got Cavallari. We also have Cecile that cra- I got yeah, behind crashes. She was, she lost some time today. Yeah, there yeah. was some big yeah. time losses there. And that that's bad for them because that was her, that's their... Climbing. They lost both of their yeah. two GC contenders. Oh, yeah. FDJ did. So that's, it's, just, it's just a continuation from the men's tour. Yeah, it's just exciting. A, those are some serious big misses. FDJ. Mm-hmm. But as we're coming in, Lance, yeah. you have to like maybe appreciate this. But we're coming in with like the dream team breakaway, right? We've got Boss's Boss, Lamborghini, also Lisa Longo Bergini. We've got. Ah, uh, you know, these big riders and plus our like bonus rider of the day, who's our best young rider, who's yeah, just but, having you know, when she came back, she tried to attack him. And I mean, you know, they she's always talk about coming and, back yeah. to the group and then attacking him and going and when everyone's looking around and she tried it, it was just unfortunate that it was kind of a little uphill and she couldn't do it. But like <laughs> she, she, she went for it. I was like, that's pretty cool. Yeah, she's you know? she, actually, like, the back. Was, she was trying. But one oh, yeah. K to go on the front. <laughs> so I don't know. But one K to go on the front. Elisa Balsamo, world champion, wearing the jersey full gas, mouth open for Lamborghini, right? Like they're yeah. just going time. Yeah, like, but with about 2K to go, you said, who's going to win it? Oh, who called it? <laughs> Mari that called it. Me. I lost. <laughs> I was like, Balsamo wins hands down. She was like, Voss wins. Yeah. And then 1K to go when uh, Balsamo was still on the front. I lost that bet. And yeah. I don't, well, I don't know what we Balsamo had bet. been on the front already. <laughs> I mean, she was definitely working. They were trying to get some time They're there, getting time but, for Borghini. Yeah. So that was, was amazing awesome. teamwork. And mm-hmm. uh, so according to Ina, like I think, who's, sorry, I'm looking at my phone, but you she's texting. Well, yeah, she's the director of right. Trek Steak Afredo. No, you're getting scoop. Yeah, and we want her on the show. Tell her. Yeah. <laughs> Ina, come on the show. She was like, maybe I'll text you back. Hands down, she texts me back. Not after she hears that, she'll get mad. We got some questions. What do you you have the questions on your on your I have a lot of questions. They're, those came into my DM. People slide Good. into my yeah, DM. Yeah, what do you got? Do they well those are the same ones. Uh those and are mine, JB I think that you have. Uh JB printed out some of them. I got a note from Colton here, our, our our little propeller head back there in the back who makes it all happen. We have the footage of the crash. Let's have a gander at that. Oh, oh God. which crash? Wait till you see it. <clears throat> oh, this one. No, this watch. Is the, no, yeah, there we go. Ditch. Oh. ditch. Another ditch. Ditch Ooh, coming. Whoa. No, and ditch then, coming. <laughs> that, oh, oh God. Oh, my God. This is terrible. Oh, so bad. <laughs> I told Mari, I am so happy I don't race bikes anymore, <laughs> like road racing. Oh. Look how tiny those roads are. Lance. Well, and oh. you can just see she's down that. Oh yeah, it's a brutal sport. Oh, I mean straight up. You can't blame me for crying then today. No, I can't. Okay, thank you. Which questions? What you 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 you? They're well, in your DMs. Well, <coughs> no, but didn't JB like print them out? I did yeah, have I one. I okay. I just I well, Mari here, got a lot. I did Mari's. Here's, by the here's, way, here's a good one here. How do we bridge the gap to bring more equity and inclusion for women in cycling? I, I mean, I think this is a, is a great first step. What are we step. doing right here? This is right. a great no, this start. This is a great first step. I mean, for sure, because like, you know, the race is getting so much more media attention. Right. And, and that's so important. That was one of the things that Marianne Voss was definitely pushing for, for, for the race to have. And it's going to help us get more sponsorship. People will be able to see it. It all just kind of starts snowballing from here, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. I, totally I think this agree. is exactly what we're doing, mm-hmm. which we've talked about Lance before. But visibility is viability. Mm-hmm. So watch the FOM, which we're not joking with putting this branding up, but literally, like the more you watch women, the more women win, right. and that is what we do. And with that, if people can see themselves racing, there's more diversity and equality in the sport, and sponsorship opportunities, etc. Here's a fun question: Why is Lance sitting farther away from you? Do you bite? <laughs> Yes. The, the answer to that is, I, I don't know if she does. No, no. I'm get, gonna, no, I'm honestly, scooting closer. Honestly, get away. You're going to be off. The, the camera's set. Come on, Allie. You're going to lose your mic again. Yeah. <laughs> Calm down. down. <laughs> I've been here since 630 in the morning. Yeah. Good morning, sunshine. Who's the most dynamic rider in the race after Lamborghini? Oh, that comes from my husband, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, um, I would say now looking at what happened today, we I mean, how's the, how's the boss not the most dynamic? No, I, cause she doesn't quite attack as much as teammates. I'm going to go with Ludwig, uh, Cecile, like, and I sent you that fish video once when she was like, Oh, and I was like a fish when she got third at Flanders. <laughs> <laughs> I sent you that. Remember you left. Okay. <laughs> now he does I, not remember I, much no. this morning. <laughs> Listen. I have a lot of excuses for today's appearance. and, and, and uh, You look great. It's a miracle I got here. You made it. Yeah. You should talk. I said I made it too. I was here at 7.30. I, got, I mean, so. I, did not, I did not have a 20-year-old college Walking student me walk I me know. home last night, Marie. <laughs> <laughs> that was all me. That was all me. But I was here. 
yeah. on time. Yes, I love it. <laughs> but we do the love the six. <laughs> we do love the Lamborghini. Um, so there, Blaze would like to personal note make Lamborghini her uh, name forever um, and ever. But that's okay. She definitely um, is my choice for the dynamic right. Oh, we have a lot. We're not allowed to say it. So. And before more? we get out of here, we got to look at tomorrow's. Stage. We have more yeah. questions too. Do you want? Let's look at tomorrow's stage. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll answer those questions tomorrow. Okay, so as we look at tomorrow's stage, on, um, pull it up here. Lance will introduce up, yeah. Mari and I to actually tell you what we did in cycling because it turns <laughs> out... Um, turns out you're badasses. Yeah, we're actually more <laughs> badass than he wants to admit this no, morning. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I just, I'm just sitting... Never mind. <laughs> Let's talk about tomorrow. A little lumpier tomorrow. Towards the finish, yeah. The second wow. half of the race is definitely going to be challenging. And interesting, this is a this must be, and they did this, they didn't do that uh, in this year's men's tour, but last year they did. They've got this time bonus. I, I believe that's what the yellow B is for. Mm -hmm. So there's a um, a time bonus before the finish line. That'll spice On top up. of that On climb. On top of the yeah. climb. Yeah. But these are, you know, 900 meters is not that long, but 12.2%, that's, that's going to create some havoc. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So this is what they're calling sort of because they they categorize the first two days of sprint finishes. These they're categorizing as quote unquote hilly. So this is one of those, mm -hmm. and then of course uh, making our way to the gravel stage. Which yeah, and be, I think a lot of people are <clears throat> nervous for the gravel stage. Yeah. So it might be an opportunity tomorrow, possibly for a break to go see what happens. But in the Giro, uh, that's the course that Anna Meek kind of got away on was something lumpy towards the finish, and she just took it into her own hands. And well, she's n now yeah. she's got some time yeah. to make up. Yeah, yeah, she might get knows. a little like full uh, revenge mode. On this, um, <laughs> I will wake up early for that. I love a little, I love me some revenge. And Balsamo said it wasn't revenge today. She was just like, it's the freaking tour, right? Right. Yeah. So she's like, has a different mindset. But Anna Meek, uh, yeah, she can take matters in her own hands for sure. Um, probably take some contenders with her, and it'll be, I think, a really exciting stage. I agree. I'm going to go. It's not sprint, it'll be a break. And then, GC contenders that miss out, um, it's going to be bad news. Um, there was obviously several today. Once again, I think Neodoma has the right of the day for being the, a climber. Mm -hmm. Like Lamborghini were, sorry. Lamborghini. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Longo Borghini. So, Elisa, uh, we're used to watching her be very aggressive and make these echelons. Neodoma, that's great positioning for Canyon SRAM. Uh, and she went for it. Uh, I'm really, I'm just stoked. For it was her finish. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. that's it, the right place, the right time and good race read. And who knows with the wind. Yep. I mean, it's, they're not that far from where they were today. If this, if these weather patterns move Continue. in, the wind stays and continues, you see the, you see the actual map. I mean, they're kind of all over the place. Mm -hmm. The wind can come from all directions. So it's yeah. going to be an exciting one. Yeah, and Should so maybe just, maybe Balsamo makes a break though and can win out of a break, maybe. you know, because you saw her today that's go full they, gas and that's sit why up. they start. Yeah, so we figured out maybe. <laughs> that, that, we do. That's that's why I don't they, know. That's All I know they, is we do. I'm tired. That's why they call it a race because <laughs> you just never know. Should we go ride bikes? Yeah, I need to ride bikes. That's I think ride. I need to sweat right. out some lift. <laughs> Love it. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, uh, I promise that tomorrow Allison will be a little uh, uh, better, better, <laughs> better behaved. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> when am I ever better behaved? No, that's true. Uh, exactly. Somebody needs to keep you in line. Rewind that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But thanks for tuning in, everybody. You promised me a Bloody Mary to bring it. 100%. Tomorrow. All right. See y'all later. Bullshit. <laughs>